Hey there, it's Beta Squared. Didn't talk for the first minute because I like the juxtaposition of what's happening. So this is Warrior Land 4. I'm starting a new game because I want to keep my mind off of Legend of Zelda and Earthbound. And I need more content to keep my backlog. More backlog. But this is Warrior Land 4, one of my favorite GBA games. It's pretty simple. This is the Hall of Hieroglyphs. I'm not gonna go for 100%, I'm just gonna beat the game. I gotta remember my my keys, I, I forget how uh, how to play this game. But the goal of this game is to collect cash and essentially, you know, get the gold from this pyramid and and survive. <laughs> it's not hard, it's, it's fun. It's just Wario being Wario and him being like a baller or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm being stupid at this point. I like this game. I have nothing bad to say about it. I mean, there are a few parts where it gets weird, but we'll get to that. So hopefully, depending on how long levels are, because I feel like it's going to be one level per episode. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Because if I can finish levels in like five minutes, then I can do at least two levels per episode. But this game is packed to the brim with great levels and content. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm having too much fun. I haven't played this in ages and oh my god it's all the memories all the nostalgia is just rushing back to me i know methods of how to get like all the coins in every level on normal but we also got a guy he's our friendly keezer yay oh right oh okay because earthbound didn't happen yet because I'm doing this in a weird order. Anyways, I made a new intro, you probably didn't see it yet, but you will next episode, because I like to do the first episodes with intros. Fun fact, I never knew about this until like a few years ago, so I always missed this by accident. So I think the first episode will be the first world, which isn't bad, but here we go. This is the end of the tutorial level. Err. There are three difficulties in this game. There's normal, hard, and super hard mode. And every time we hit our little pally old frog switch here, we have to race back to the portal. And new paths open up because of it. So if I can get 10k coins per level, then that means I unlock something special that we will figure out about later. But we all, we need all four gem pieces. I didn't get 10k. Oh well. That's fine. It's something special. It's something grand. Your game is saved. It'll take you back to a passage. Hooray! I did kind of skim over the beginning cutscene. I might include that. I might have to go back and re-record that on its own. So... We got a minigame shop, which will be incredibly helpful. One play, I get one free play? Oh, oh, okay, I get that. I will do this later, but because we're normal, it's not too hard, it's not too bad either. I'm just going for a completion, I'm not actually going for 100% because that's absurd. 
But our first boss is Spoiled Rotten. And here's a little cat, and we got items. Oh, okay. So these items... Oh, a smile. Thank you. Um, according to the lore of this game, that little cat that we saw running into the shop is that little Mr. Game & Watch guy. And each item does specific damage to a specific boss. I will probably use a very specific item on bosses in order to do damage to them. But this one is really easy, it's not too hard. I think we only have one minute to do it too, so... Hooray! Look at that. Oh, okay. Gotta watch out for that. Oh god. Alright. Get out of here. I, I have to like really remember on how to do these bosses. Alright, at some point, Spoiled Rotten will become... angry. There he is. Now we cannot attack him from the front, but no big deal. We just attack him from the back. Okay, well... I, really? I, oh, cause the freaking hit... No, let me over him. Oh. Oh no. On super hard mode, you have 15 seconds to do this, so I would have already lost. God... Really? Really? Wow, I was so bad at that. Wow. That is... That, that is just horrible gameplay on my part. I, lo I love Wario Land. Wario Land Shake It, though, it's probably like the better version of this, but this is always going to have a special place in my heart. Now we've unlocked the Golden Pyramid, and in order to get to the Golden Pyramid, well, you'll see in a second, there's four worlds. Four worlds, each with four levels. And they all have a theme, so here we got like a grass jungle type theme, we got a machine type theme here, a toy type theme here, and a spooky, um, I don't know, a spooky haunted theme here. And this is basic. And over here, we have the sound room. And you get something special if you get gold crowns on every single level in the game, but that's something... For another day. I probably won't show that off. We also got the professor. He was in the intro, which I did not show off, so I'll go do that. Well, it, it's already happened for you, but for me, I'm still doing it. So that's the end of today's episode. If you've enjoyed, thank you for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the Emerald Passage.